So, Dynasty Warriors Origins is here. Kind of. I'm late as fuck covering this game, but here I am. Talked about it a few months ago, how hype I was about Origins. I uh, dropped the Dynasty Warriors gameplay. Fuck! For all the Dynasty Warriors games. Well, I'm not finished with that series, but I will finish it by the time this game comes out. But today, we're talking about the demo. And right off the bat, what I can say is that this game is very fun and it is super smooth, buttery smooth. And finally, we as fans are up, man. We are up. It's been over a decade since we've had a good game in a series. And to be honest, even that last game, Nice Wars 8, was okay. It was just, it was okay, man. It was okay. But this game is such a nice change of pace nice change of pace it's adding a little bit of brain power to the genre and for someone who's played almost every game in the series i think that that was very needed look to be honest because i'm so late there's a million videos i'm not going to talk about the new features and how new this feels and talk about the specifics you can see that in all these fucking channels that has the full game because they cheated or i don't know how the fuck they got the full game i'm so jealous of those type of channels but you see it from them, you see it from IGN, all these bigger other content creators. I'm a small guy. I'm not going to talk about what they've already talked about and rehash the content. What I will say is what I like and don't like. And maybe you guys agree, maybe you don't. We could talk about it. But starting off, I'm very glad that this game is getting the attention. It feels like it deserves it, man. This demo is fire. Uh, it's no longer. Dynasty Warriors is no longer the McDonald's of gaming. It's more akin to Shake Shack and it's still dynasty warriors it's still fast food but it's fast food that's real meat it has actual quality depending on location there's some shitty shake shack spots mind you but you get my point this dynasty warriors isn't an uninspired remake they actually put some thought into it it's not the same big mac you're getting man it's an actual burger my nigga the combat is similar but not the same. There's parries, dodges, fluidity in your movement that feels natural, stuns, reversals, blah, 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 blah. These are things that's been in other games for years, and Dynasty Warriors just never picked it up. It always just kept the same code, and it got very stale very fast, even in that same game. You just get over it very fast, and then that's, that's if you play just that one game. Imagine if you're playing the entire series. The combat just got old, and then they try to do some new shit with nine and it's ass and I'm yapping, but y'all get my point. It just, the game turned to ass. Honestly, I love the series, but it was hot ass for the longest time. But now, we got something. You gotta keep your eyes peeled in this version because the NPCs won't stop attacking you. Kind of like the older Dynasty Warriors, they will smack the fuck out of you. Please be careful. The eight, these niggas are not fucking playing. They are gonna throw their attacks if you are back turned they don't care especially on hero mode and on hero mode those motherfuckers hurt too and speaking of hero mode let's get into the overall difficulty due to them adding an actual fighting system rather than the system be motherfuckers sit and let you kill them so you can feel powerful even though they still let you feel powerful trust me you will feel strong you will fulfill your power fantasy but they actually will fight back this time so it does make this more difficult in that sense. But what I will say is if you're good at picking up mechanics and systems, this game is going to be a lot easier than past Dynasty Warriors because the past Dynasty Warriors, they made the game harder based off of cheese and not actual mechanics in the game. So Dynasty Warriors 3 are either two or three. I forget which one to where the officers will heal. It's very annoying. That did a lot of damage, bro. This dude's ridiculous. Ah! Nah, I'm running. That cheese isn't really hard because you're smacking the fuck out of them the entire time. It's just that they just heal everything. Every single time you knock them on the ground, they'll heal. That's not hard. That's cheese. Every other Dynasty Warriors, they just fucking... Uh, the stronger characters, especially Lu Bu, will just one-shot you and or he will knock you out of everything because you can't stun him. He's unflinchable unless you hit him with a Musu. So... That's not hard, that's just cheese. It's it's hard in the sense of it being cheese, not because of the combat system. So some people are more fans of the older ones. We will like the older ones more because of stuff like that. I didn't hate it, I love it. I grew up on the series based off of that, but I think that's most of my nostalgia talking versus it actually being good game design. This, without a doubt, this system is an actual good 
game design i just want it to be a little bit harder so with that being said all we can do is hope for a chaos mode because i do think that this system is a little bit too easy it's a little too fluid man we just are able to dodge and parry everything the one advantage i have of being late is seeing what everyone else is saying and are doing and in my honest opinion based off of the things that i've seen lubu should never ever be a no hit challenge unless you are maxed out level wise and a huge part of me that believes that the people beating him on their first try which if they say that they're lying i don't give a fuck they are capping you did not understand how to beat that nigga on your first fucking try you died at least once all right and then you got the people who did the no hit runs i ain't gonna say they lied but they definitely died a bunch before they got to that just gonna say that i refuse to believe otherwise i'm a hater sorry um, and then there's the other part of me that knows that if you actually do run into him with max health and max heals, he's not actually that bad. Uh, and I have to go off of my own self with that example. So the first time I fought him was last night when I first got to play the demo and he was clapping me, but I also went in with no health and only one heal. And so I essentially almost had to do a no hit run to beat him. And then you got it to where the day after, I beat him as of today. I beat him and it took me probably 10 minutes of dying to him before I was like, okay, I understand it now. And I smacked him and it was pretty easy. I'd had a pretty good time on it. So I don't know. The system is not hard and the system kind of nerfs Lubu in a way. He's still powerful. He still feels like Lubu, but it doesn't feel like the Lubu of old to where you actually should run away from him. And this time around, I would feel pretty lame and pretty weak if I did not beat Lubu on Hulao Gate when that fucking stage comes because he's not going to be in Sishui Gate and this Lubu was kind of cracked up, I ain't going to lie, because he's killing all of the officers and shit like that. And obviously, this was just for the demo because he's not going to kill every officer in one hit. He's just not. At least he's not going to kill your commander in one hit or else the fucking stage is going to end. So this was just a paying homage to the fans. That's the only reason he's at CCU Gate. So when it comes to Hu Lao Gate, if Lubu is anywhere in the realm of Lubu here, if he's like that in the base game, I'm going to beat him. But in other games, honestly, if I wasn't making like a video or trying to show a friend something, especially back in the day, I wasn't trying to show a friend of mine something or my cousin or whoever's playing with me that Lubu's crazy, I'm skipping past him. There's no real reason you don't get much for fighting him. It's just annoying. And then you got the threat of your fucking whole game being ended. You got to start all the way over. That's another thing with this Dynasty Warriors that makes it so easy is that there's checkpoints. So even when it's going bad, it's not really going bad. So there's a lot with this game that's just easier than I would like. And I'm not saying that you got to make people suffer like his Dark Souls or something like that. It's just, like I said, just a tad bit more difficulty. I mean, fuck, even Lu Bu, even with your checkpoints, he doesn't actually one-shot you. Some of his attacks will straight up just get you low enough to where now you're in the range to where you can actually be killed. He has that damn choke slam, and he will choke slam you to the ground and leave your lifeless body there like you're a piece of shit and you'll get right back up even with no health so it's just an easier system in general and i love it but i also wish it was just a tad bit more difficult so it feels smooth but it's a little too easy and i can't imagine any one officer being stronger than lubu in the game because that's just not how it's supposed to be even characters at their strongest don't reach lubu status it never was like that and i hope they don't change it but anyways, yeah, Lubu's Dark Soulsy. He doesn't have a pattern that follows a rule. It's just more so you wait until he does his attack and then you can attack him or you can parry him. There's many defensive options that you have. You can really smack him. But doing it on your first try is what I was saying was cap. You got to get the, the shit down first. All in all, I'm not mad that he's easier considering that he's not actually easy because of cheese or anything like that. He's easier just because of the system. And so if the system's just buffed up a little bit more damage, stuff like that, maybe... I don't know, it'll be perfect for me. I'm sure there's people who think the old Lubu's are easier because they could just run away and do Musu, and technically that is true. Uh, Lubu's very easy to beat if you just never engage them until you're invincible. It's a matter of perspective at the end of the day. 
Uh, to me, the old Lubu was more difficult because he was just more cheesy. Uh, he would just one-shot you, and you couldn't make him flinch. You couldn't juggle him as easy because when you're trying to do your uppercut attack to launch him, he would just knock you out of it because you couldn't flinch him. So unless you ran and moved with him, you're simply just going to die at low levels. As opposed to this Lubu, you could actually stand up with him and box him, which is far more fun, but again, just a, a bit more... It's not as unnerving. I'm really hoping that Hulao Gate is like a scary game or something like make lubu scary again modders please make the game have chaos difficulty off rip don't make me beat the game and then unlock chaos difficulty i like the combat system i just need to be a tad more difficult other than that i don't have any real complaints some minor things were annoying like teammates dying quick as shit but i think they just hyped that up for the demo uh you can it, it's the they were just showing off the morale system and yes the morale system matters a lot it matters i do want the fights to be longer than 10 minutes it took me 10 minutes to start the lubu fight and now that the maps are decent size again i feel like they should just take more time i don't know how to really do that again i'm just being nitpicky uh but if you are on your horse, you're going to get across the map really fast if you keep just boosting speed. But if you're not on the horse, it's going to be pretty slow. So I don't know why I'm saying here again. I'm just bitching the bitch. Some things I'll say also before we wrap up this video. Apparently, the other playable characters are only playable in a power up. You could just turn into them and then they just do their shit, which is pretty lame because we're stuck with this lame ass dude. If you're on PC like me, please look for the mods to change that and make the other characters fully playable. Uh, that'll probably come very, very soon because people do not like the idea of playing with this dude throughout the entire story. And they're probably going to fix a bit of the issues that come with the game. I didn't notice too many issues, but they're probably going to make this game even better than what it already is. That's what modders typically do. So just make sure you find the ones that you like because they're going to exist. And if you feel like Dynasty Warriors mods are typically hard to find, which they really are, uh, I will have the Discord link in the description so you can go to the modding community. But I'm pretty sure with how popular this game is seeming so far, we're going to have even more modders support the game, which is great, 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 great for the series. Some other tidbits, please, Koei, the next Empires game, you make it just like this with way more added strategy. Make it the best Empire games ever, but you use this fucking system. Please, please make it multiplayer. Where's the Empires game that's like fucking Crusader Kings, or but you can go with your friends and you have a damn campaign and y'all just play that shit together. Y'all could go against each other. You can make it not against each other, however you want to do it. Why haven't they not done that yet, man? Just literally take the system that you have don't change up anything make it online person versus person and y'all just go crazy or you make it even more specific you're tied to one character i don't know but you could get so crazy with that man fuck bro hey somebody in the chat i don't know nobody's gonna watch this video nobody's gonna watch it bro if anybody watch it am i tripping make a multiplayer empires game to where we can make a fucking campaign with our friends and go against each other I even work on the same team. I'll take working on the same team, bro. If you're too scared to put fucking versus combat in like you had in the old games, fuck it. But damn, that would be fun. Going up against a friend. He built up his army. I built up my army. And we fucking are taking over China and we finally meet each other. Or maybe we fucking conquer each other off rip. I don't know. Man, this game, this series has so much potential that's just been lacking for so long. And it finally looks like they're delving into their potential with how they can make the combat better. Hopefully they expand upon the shit and bring in more features and more shit, especially for empires when they get around to it. I know that this is not a mainline game according to what other fans are saying. Apparently this is like supposed to be a spinoff. I don't know. I don't have it confirmed. Don't ask me. I've just seen that from other people that Dynasty Warriors 10 is still going to be its own thing. This is not Dynasty Warriors 10, but when they do get to Dynasty Warriors 10, make it the same combat. You can have the same rehash, washed up storyline. I don't give a fuck. Make sure this combat's in. And then when you get with Empires, make sure this combat is in and you add the features that I'm fucking talking about and you add multiplayer and add real strategy, bro. Not no fucking strategy cards, man. I'm like talking about real fucking planning real politics i'm wishing for too much and i'm yapping i'm so sorry just know if for whatever reason you can't play or you're scared to be hurt by dynasty warriors after nine you gotta give this demo a shot at least it's a breath of fresh air and it feels like an entirely new game while still giving that dynasty warriors feeling like this game 
it's still Dynasty Warriors. You could go into it blind and still recognize it for the icon it is, even though there's so much that changed. So crazy to me how they accomplished that. Dynasty Warriors is no longer McDonald's. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm out.